Jesus. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Um, for those who are kneeling, please, I would want us to all dance two by two. We want to speak in tongues for in a moment of time. We want to welcome the, the Spirit of God to accompany us in this service. As your neighbor's son to speak in tongues. Start to speak in tongues. Start to speak in tongues. Start to welcome the presence of God here. Start to speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. For the Bible says, the Spirit of God cries in, uh, cries in us, Abba. Let that Spirit cry in you. Let that cry in you. Let that Spirit cry in you. Let that Spirit cry in you. The Bible says, like us, for we know not uh, for, for the Spirit of God and faith in our infirmities. For we know not what to pray for. For we know not how to pray how we ought to. But the Spirit of God maketh intercession with groanings that can now can you enter into the spirit? Can you enter into the spirit? Can you enter into the spirit? Ascend to the mountain of God. Enter into the spirit. You can walk around as you speak in tongues. You can walk around as you speak in tongues. You can take your positions as you speak in tongues. Walking around is taking your positions. Now you walk around, walk around as you speak in tongues. In the name of Jesus, but take all your blessings this day as you walk around. But take all your blessings, the blessings that God has already released into our life today. My yando let your second day, let your second day, Yama. Shanda, let your second day, let your second day, Yama. My yanda, la ba 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 ba. Second day, let your soko yanda, la ba 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 Shut up, 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 shut up
allowed us to see this day again. Father, we bless your name. We bless your holy name. You've been our anchor. Father, you've been our strong tower. We ran unto you and we found help. Now we give you all of the glory and all of the adorations for the you've done for us. I bless your name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. The Bible says that in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. Father, may we find that joy in your presence. May we find that joy today in your presence. Father, for those who came while they were downcasted, those who came when life was, not, was impossible for them, Father, this day, 
May they leave this place with new strength. May they leave this place with new life. May their lives be renewed again. May their spirits be renewed again. I bless you and I worship you. Now as you are going to sit down and uh, listen to your word. Father, may you speak to our spirits. For I don't stand before them with enticing words of men. But I stand before them with the demonstrations of the power of God and the spirit of God. For the Bible says that the word of God is spirit and it's life. Father, this day may your word come down with a great spirit and may it make us alive again. I bless you and I worship you. I am just but a vessel. Father, may you do your work through me. I have self. I decrease so that you may increase. Father, may you show your power today. I bless you and I worship you for it is in Jesus' name I pray and believe. For it is in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Praise God. What I want us to do, um, those who are sitting behind, kindly, just move in front. And you can welcome your neighbor to this service. As we begin the service, because most of us maybe we can see to tuli kwa na wiki yenye iko na changamoto mingi yenye tulikosa watu wa kutusalimia so you can greet your neighbor ukiwa na kicheko ukiwa umefurahia ndio pia yako encouraged but things will turn around praise god praise god again for those who don't know me for i know that uh, there are there are those that don't know me. I'm Philip Okofapio. I'm saved. And I'm a son in the house. Praise God. The Bible says in... Uh, the Bible says in uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, that though you have, uh, uh, have 10,000 instructors, but yet not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begot you for the gospel of God. This is Paul talking to the church of Corinthians. God again. Now, I thank God for our father in the house. Praise God. He's given us this, uh, he's given us uh, most of us this opportunity to stand before you good people and to speak the word of God. Praise God. So we respect him so much as our father for mentoring us. Yes, we might have many teachers. Yet we, yes, we might have uh, many instructors. But he still remains to be our father. Praise God. So if by any chance he's not your father and you are here, may God help you. Praise God. Pengine kama we ni mgeni na uko na baba yako kwingine then we don't we don't have problem with that. Kama umekuja kututembelea. But uh, if you are among us and you know that you are a son in the house and uh, our father, my father is not your father. Then who unto you? Praise God. Praise God again. Uh -huh. I thank God for this opportunity. I thank you also for coming. Though tunakuja church late sana. Ndiyo mana sa zingine tunanza late. Anyway. So I want to speak about a uh, uh, son's mandate in the kingdom. All the responsibilities of sons. In the kingdom of God. Praise God. Praise God again. Responsibilities of sons in the kingdom of God. Or sons mandate in the kingdom. Majukumu yawana katika nyumba ya buwana ama katika ufalme wa buwana. Buwana sifiwe. And 
I want us to understand something before we we go to the theme theme verse of theme scripture. I want us something about sons. Bonus if you Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. Chapter 9, 6. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Praise God. Now this is a prophecy of uh, Isaiah concerning our Savior Jesus. Bonus if you and he's, te- he's telling us that unto us a child is born, unto, uh, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Buona se fiu. The Bible says in, uh, is it in, in, uh, in uh, Oracle? Yes. Miko. Romans. Romans uh, eight seventeen. Romans eight seventeen says speaks about us being co inheritors with uh, Jesus. Praise God. Let's just read. Today we'll be doing a lot of reading, so you'll just bear with me. Romans eight seventeen says. Children, and if children, then heirs, and join us with Christ. So be that we suffer with Him, but we may also glorify the Father. Praise God. So as Christ given unto us. He is given unto us as a son. And so, because he is a son, the Bible says in Romans that we are co-inheritors with, co-heirs with uh, Christ Jesus. So we are also sons in the kingdom of God. Praise God. And being a son, uh, being a, a son in the kingdom of God, you are given for God because uh, as the Bible says that uh, but a son is to us and he is going to be a wonderful then uh, a counselor but when he is going to be uh, a everlasting God praise God and as our sons, we should also know that we are given for God's purpose. Praise God. You know, most of the times, you, we always do act like we don't know God's purpose, but we should work on perfecting or work on doing. Praise God. Praise God again. The Bible says, still in Isaiah, but... Uh, the government, Let, let's just go there, Kidogo, so that uh, you can understand what I want to say. And to, for unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be. So, means that this government this government of God is always given to the sons. Praise God. 
let's go slowly you just understand me praise god as we go as we move let's take for instance the government of kenya the government of kenya has how many arms we have how many arms of government in kenya we have four arms of government before they were three now we have four we have the executive executive compromises of uh, or the president and uh, the cabinet and the CASs praise god then we have we have the legislatures legislative eh? legislatures the, uh, these are the two parliaments senate and the and the eh? what mps <laughs> yeah, no? we have the judiciary this one these are the judges praise god then we have the devolved government these are the governors praise god it's the same same way in the government of god the way we are always told that the body of christ entails many parts bonus if you and each and every part has got his own function and his own purpose Praise God. For akuna sikwe nyutapata minister wa health amekuja amekuja kukwa kunini kuangalia ku direct watu wa waraka sending the constituency of if not or kama jatumwa kulingana dada oketi yenye ana nini ana stand on ana ana um, alichaguliwa kusimamia bwana sifiwe what am i saying the mp for this area ndio wako na yujukumu ya kuangalia citizens why area miradi za hii area na vitu zenye wanafaa kufanya praise god praise god today god is going to talk to us in a such a way that even the the issue of microphones it's going to be touched to today may god bless the media team and the sound guys praise god so i was saying mtu kama minister of health aizi kuja huku kuanza kuambia watu wanafaa kufanya vitu fulani vitu fulani pengine kama nakuja ku direct watu on the matters of health bwana sifiwe ama judge akuje anze ku direct watu huku kulingana na vile wanafaa kufanya vitu kwa mta yao where rust uko na mp bwana sifiwe each and every arm of government has its own function bwana sifiwe so they are uh, they are always expected to work towards it so that they can make this government prosper bwana sifiwe so I was saying that this is compared with the body of Christ. Bona sifiwe or with this body that we have. The hand has its own purpose. The leg has its own purpose. The mouth has its own purpose. There is no day that you will find somebody contradicting the functions and the purpose of this body. Bona sifiwe The purpose of leg is to walk and to kick. Hakuna siku yenye uta kick with your mouth or hakuna siku yenye uta walk with your uh, walk with hakuna uh, siku yenye uta kick with your mouth or hakuna siku yenye you will eat with your leg. Bwana sifiwe. So each and every part of the body has its own purpose. Bwana sifiwe. So in this kingdom of God we've been given this kingdom. And this kingdom has parts. Bwana sifiwe. And as sons we should know that we should we should come to a realization and an understanding of what we are called to in this kingdom of God. Praise God. You know most of the times as a sons it's like we procrastinate or we ignore or I don't know what always happens to us the things that we are supposed to be doing we ignore so much but those things lag behind and the kingdom of god becomes 
uh, it, it becomes a kingdom that is not run in the, in, in the way that is supposed to. Praise God. Is what, is what I'm saying making sense? I know you will, under, you will get me as we proceed. Praise God. The Bible says in, um, is it in, in, uh, in Luke? Uh, um, let me, Luke 10, 27. Bible says, 10, Luke 10, 27, Luke 10, 27 says, and he answering said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Buon as if you will. You shall love their God with all thy mind, your soul, your strength. Now I want us to dwell in the strength because that's where I want to speak. Praise God. Speak, uh, uh, that's the nini, where I want to dwell on. The Bible says that you should love your God with all thy strength, with all thy mind. Bonus if you will. Love. So anytime as a son that you find yourself not doing the purpose of God. Ask yourself, do you really love your God? Praise God. Do you really love your God? I want us to ask, but, uh, I want us to ask ourselves that question. Do we really love our God with our strength? Strength does not mean just beating people. Or strength means the, the, the things that you have. The things that God has given that, that God has given new positions to. Do you really love God with the things that God has given you? For those things for you to have, you have you have to use strength for you to have them. Praise God. But most of us Praise God. Most of us we tend to dwell in this other part of the, of the scripture that says that love, the, love, love uh, God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. But when it comes to the strength, we leave the strength to some people. We leave the strength to some people. Praise God. God bless you, Alan. Praise God. Am I making an understanding? Strength. The strength that God is telling us to love him with. It's not time to say that. So, let's learn to love our God. Or, in short... Let's be spiritual in loving God and also in physical, let's also love God. People see that in, spirit, in, in the spiritual realm, we love God and also in the physical by the things that we do. Let it be known or let people see that we really do love this God. Praise God. With the things that he has given unto us. Eh? Let's not hold them back. Let's love God with all that God has given us. The other day I was teaching here and I told people that, you know, we are just but stewards of the things that we've been given. Praise God. But you know, most of us, we are given the things. 
What I mean by things are the uh, is uh, the things the things that you you have. Mali yenyuko nayo. Praise God. I know that uh, times, times are hard. Sa zingine unaweza taka kushikilia mali yako sana in such a way that you assume but also the church notes that the times are hard so you don't have to use the things that God has given unto you. Praise God. The Bible says and Hannah went before God and said but if you will remember me if you will if you will remember my plight and if you will give me a son i will give him back to you praise god you know most of the times but some of us when we are going into prayers we ask god for things then when god gives us these things then us as sons we don't remember the covenant that we made with God. But if you give me this thing, God, I will give it back unto you. And this, in this state, you'll find that most of us, we are passing through hard, we are passing through hard times. We are crying like the people of the world because there are some things that God gave us and we ate them. The gifts that were supposed to be God's, we ate them. Now we are suffering because of them. Now we are praying, we, we are traveling, we are asking God, God bless me. But remember, there is something that you ask God about. You are, you, there is something that you stayed, you tarried in the, place, uh, in the place of prayer. And you told God that, God, if you give me this, I will give it back to you. But you ended up using it into the ways that were not right. Praise God. Do you really love God as a son? The government has been given unto you and you are acting like the MPs that we chose. MPs are chosen so that and bring development. They end up eating the CDF money. The MPs, the, the ministers are chosen so that they can head the ministries. But they lose money in their own in their own leisures and in their own things. So people, the, the citizens end up end up suffering because of the things that the people that they elected are not doing. But the same thing us as sons we are doing to God. Are we really being fair with God? <laughs> Praise God. Praise God again. Um, the Bible says in uh, is it James 5 7? I hope I'm not too fast. James 5 7 says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Let me con it is it is James 4 3, sorry. James 4 3 says, Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Bonus if you Ye ask and receive not. Because God knows you will go and use it in your own lusts. Bonus if you And it is not the, same, the first time that you are praying that God gives you the thing that you are praying for. Maybe God had given you kitambo sana. But you used what God gave you in your own lusts. Bonus if you were. I have a friend. He's a good man of God. A very good man of God. Ah, ni wa mungu. I respect the anointing, the oil that is upon him. Praise God. And he is my friend. Very close. But uh, this is now the things of the past. Bonus if you for God delivered him from that. This man of God, most of the times, So, he was craving. 
craving nyingine yani hata mimi nilikuwa na eh what kind of craving is alikuwa anapenda mutura mutura you know most of us here you are cravings you have devilish cravings but have made you eat the gifts of god praise god you are craving for sambusa 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 then you end up eating the money even here remember the bible the book of job but when the sons of god appeared before god so satan was there so i know that here also <laughs> yeah as you are gathered here you you know that there's supposed to give to god but there, there's satan speaking to your own mind let's so this friend of mine had a that each and every time that i was walking with him he is a man of god remember alikuwa anafika pale then aniambi eh hey, mtura mtura kwanza akiona zinachomwa pale then there zina ni kama zina zinapiganga ile nini mafuta ikifanya you, you know that ikifanya alikuwa anasikia eh hey, yeah, yeah. so hata kama ana pesa he was always convincing me to buy for him and i was so generous to buy for him while i was talking to god god may you deliver this man from this craving cuz he is not eating it to satisfy himself but he is eating it because he has craving for it bwana sifiwe mmoja kuna tama nyingine ya kishetani with his uh, past cravings for god delivered him praise god this man is so fiery na anapenda mtura that's the state of most of us in the kingdom for i believe that we are sons bona if you in this kingdom if you are not a son may god may god, may, may, may god help you so that you become a son bona if you and don't think that sonship is just like that the government is unaekewa government yote kwa kichwa yako bona if you i cannot disclose the identity of this friend of mine because some of you muneza add then you you know that he is a certain person but this god god delivered him from that mtura and i tell you since time that guy has been uh, serving god with all of his heart bona if you and i can testify of that can god testify about you the way you love that thing that you love je kuna wengine wetu wanapenda vitu wamezi hold so dear eh baku naenda kuna kula but which belongs to god bona sifiwe are you really a good son are you really performing your mandate in this kingdom or are you making this kingdom to crawl to be on its knees each and every time bona sifiwe you've made this kingdom to suffer and you are part of it you've made this government to pass through starvation past pass through lack and you are a son in this church in emma bona si fiwe i know that we are online god will help us in this church of neema We are sons in this church as i started but we may have a 10000 instructors 10000 teachers but we have only one father bona sifiwe there was somewhere that i was god was speaking to me again, uh, concerning this topic so much bona sifiwe i was trying to pray but i found myself go telling me go back i want you to to go tell my people this bona si fiwe my heart was really heavy god i want to pray so that i can be a millionaire no pray, go and tell my people this do research on this go and tell them because they are erring on this they, they are doing errors the bible says you err because you know not the scriptures nor the power of the script. they are they are doing errors bona si fiwe so as neema church We are really doing errors. Bona sifiwe. 
most are the times bona sifiwe tumejishikilia tukisema hey, which is true which is true we are still uh, tracking bona sifiwe and this far we cannot say that it's been our strength for we don't know how we've reached this this far it's only god who has been helping us bona sifiwe then why has it been that we tumeiweka ni kama sisi naona in nini tumeiweka sasa ni kama strength yetu do you know why because most of kama kuna vitu zingine zenye tuna kama kuna vitu zingine zenye tunafaa kufanya zile zenye tu inafaa kidogo kidogo you'll find people saying ah, we are still constructing constructing we don't have to think about that now we are still constructing ras ni mungu ndiye ametusaidia tukajenga praise god may god bless those people who employed somebody to to clear the church hiyo pande ya huko for i know that they are also coming uh, the, the person will be coming on monday to to complete his work bona sifiwe how many days brenda you have a kid sindi uko na mtoto mdogo uh, alan was uh, alikuwa alikuwa nini pia yako na mtoto mdogo na and alan suffered because of the nyasi that we have here bona sifiwe mtoto alikuwa na kifungua kapoteza kifungu kwa inyasi bona sifiwe we are living in god's kingdom like we have left we've deserted the house of god and it has become a such a place that is not desirable if you can look behind you upper vile hapo ni bushi what we are waiting is for pastor tawa pastor tunajua tu atakuja ku employ mtu afanye kazi hapo na bona sifiwe as are we doing the right thing before god ask yourself are you doing the right thing do you really love god sijaona mtu mwenye amekuja hapa na kifimbo we have youths here what happens in nema is that men are waiting for women to do things women are waiting for youths to do things whereas youths are waiting for such they can come and do the things are we thing before god then yet we call ourselves spiritual people or we are ignorant or we are uh, we are procrastinators so we are before god forgive me if you feel me talking like this i feel the anger of god we have a tap outside there praise god it was stolen like a plus ago i'm not speaking because i'm not speaking because i'm too good i'm also like you people i've been here things are going wrong we've let we've left it here to do each and everything things but even don't need money it's us praise god Praise God. <laughs> May God help me dear team. Praise God. Wapigie makofi. Praise God. Are we really are we really doing the good thing? Tapia maji imepotea like four oh, mtu aliiba hapo four months ago. And nini not four months, three weeks plus. All of us. Hakuna mtu mwenye aendangi pale choo. Then anaona hapo nyuma vile maji na mwagika. And to them who are blessed with kids. I thank God for you. But most of your kids wanaenda pale wanafungua hiyo kitu. So you have eyes to see, but we don't have a tap there. But has anyone ever come to pastor and ask pastor pastor what what should we do concerning this tap does that tap need 10000 shilling to replace it 
Or are we still waiting for us to complete this building so that we can think about that tap so that we can replace it? Whereas, ineza kwa inatoka maji pale, then mtuwa maji atoke pale, inge pale. Apate, how we are wasting water? Then maji katu. Are we really doing the right things? Praise God. Are we really doing the right things? Ask yourself that. Do you really love God? Because you cannot love God partially. Tumeka mungu kama mganga. Tunenda kuwa kasa zenye tunataka. But when we are needed to act upon the things of God, we don't act. Praise God. Praise God again. The Bible says in Luke and in Matthew that uh, it is in Matthew it's in Matthew 9:37 38 and it is in Luke 10 2 What does it say Mavuno ni mengi but watenda kazi ni wachache Praise God. Mavuno ni mengi, but watenda kazi ni wachache. Mavuno ni mengi, but watenda kazi ni wachache. I want us to think of the things of God around this church. Do you know that through these things, through these things we've had pastor saying that there was just a person who was sweeping the former church that we had and God helped him. God raised him. Don't you know that these small things that we are doing here, these are harvests, harvests that God has released to us so that we can do them and he blesses us through those things. Do you, know, you don't know that. I know that most of us are people who are so ni watu wapenda decorum ni watu wenye wanajipenda wanava vizuri people who are so composed yo my friend in the kingdom of god you are still carrying yourself like that god help me god may you speak through me let them not be my words, but yours. Praise God. Tuamkeni kwa usingizi. Tumekua, tumelala usingizi sana. Mbona sifiwe? Tumelala usingizi sana. Tumekua kama yutikas. Mbona sifiwe? Neno la mungu tunambiwa kila siku. Sisi macho zetu zimefungwa mpaka vitu zenye tu mtu anafa kuona but we are supposed to do that you are not doing We've angered the spirit of God Praise God Praise God again May the spirit of God help us Praise God and may the spirit may God open your inner eyes if your physical eyes you've been having them, then you've been doing nothing. May God open your inner eyes so that you see. Because maybe these things are spiritual. And we've not been seeing them in the spirit. So we ignore. May God open our inner eyes. Our spiritual eyes. Praise God. I don't see any person lame here. I don't see any person crippled here. I know that some are uh, employed. But you can sacrifice sometimes to come and work in the house of God. Bonus if you Vitu zingine, we don't have to wait for this building to be complete. Let's not worry about this building. This building, God will finish it in his own time. Bonus if you The Arambe that we are having, we've been praying to God. For us, we are known 
for prayers. Bona sifiwe. And I know that God has listened to our prayers to complete this building. Now it's it's on him. Bona sifiwe. Let's not take it upon us. Mbaka zile vitu zenye tunafa kufanya the petty things the, the petty small things that we are supposed to do, we are not doing because we've put our, all our minds. Na ukikumbukata the last time tulifanya rampe ni lini. I want each and every person here to ask yourself, since we did a rampe last rampe, until now, what have you done in the house of God? I know you've been giving offerings, you've been giving tithes. But what have you done? What have you done in the ile nimeshika moyo wako? Ile nimekamata moyo wako mpaka unaambia Mungu Mungu hii nimefanya. I thank God for my sister na muitanga auntie uh, immaculate. The day that uh, uh, tulikuwa tuna tuna nini ndio tulikuwa na launching ya Elijah hapa hivi mki remember hii kitu ile kwa sink mbona sifio ukieka kiti because tulikuwa tunanyunyizia maji then god directed me just to go to her to nikamwambia nika eh tumelemewa hapa hivi nini tumeshatumia pesa cause that time we had lots of things that we were doing na tulikuwa tunapendelea watu wakikuja launching tutakuwa na viti viti zisi sink zivunjike tusipate hasara then God spoke to her. Akaniambia hiyo kitu inataka pesa ngapi? Ku compact hapa. Nikamwambia roughly 4000. Then she told me one thing. Mimi nitatoa hata kama nitakopa. Na najua Mungu atanitendea. Bwana sifiwe. And she gave na hapa ile imecompactiwa na sasa hii tunaka vizuri. Bwana sifiwe. But those are the actions that we are supposed to do to God. At that time we were still under construction or or were we not she gave money and we compacted here bwana sifiwe na mpaka saa hii na to serve my question to you and by the way immaculate do, do not relax If God speaks to you again, do something. We still need windows and everything. This windows do a rambe to do the morning. God can speak to people here. People can do this windows. Bonus if you the work of God, it's not our work. Bonus if you by our strength we cannot. Ni Mungu tu ndiye anatusaidia. So I want to ask you since we did the last rambe until today. What touching thing ile kitu yenye imeshika moyo wako what have you done to this kingdom of god that god can while he seated up in the throne while he seated looking around he can stand and say that's my son for he did something great in my kingdom so he's crying for this i'll do it for him bonus if you can god listen to your cry and answer you based on the things that you've done in his kingdom or are you still waiting for pastor to stand here one thing that angers me is when pastor stands here and asks that sasa tunataka kulipa ofisi eh ofisi imefika 20000 and all of us we know that these things for this house is not yet complete these things we keep them in the office bwana sifiwe kwa nini ijai ku, ijai kwa mzigo yako siku moja ama ni mu, ijai kwa mzigo yako uende kwa pastor muulize pastor you, you you announced that we need money to pay the office ni imefika imefika wapi pastor mimi niko tu na hii 100 mungu amenisaidia tu na hii 100 lakini iweke kwa ni docket ya ofisi why are we not acting like sons in this kingdom of god Why? Praise God. I can see all of you. Hata kama unaweka kichwa hivi, I know. And you know that you've not been doing the right thing. I'm also speaking to myself because these things have been happening and I've been here.
Praise God. You know, I'm speaking like this, not as a visitor, but as a son in the house. So I know how things are in the house, how things are not okay. Bonus if you will. For we've given pastor lots of burden. Nani ameshaba you for for now uh, how many moms? We've been hiring this speaker plus mixer plus uh, some some things there plus that stand. And every Sunday for those who don't know we use like 1000 plus. Bonus if you will. Has it ever done to you? All these things are being paid. Are being paid for. Bonus if you will. Our mixer ili aribika. Pastor announced it here. Bonus if you will. Who want to ask? Because I'm also like you people. Isaiah speaks and says that after the death of, of Uziah, he saw God. Bonus if you and after seeing God, he realized that he's a man of unclean lips and he's living amongst the people who have unclean lips. Bonus if you you know, us here we've been living like people who don't care. Bonus if you you've been living amongst us, and all of us we don't care. Majukumu yote to machia papa, papa will do it. Papa has the ability to do it. Whereas you know that this Papa that God gave us, Papa is full-time minister. Papa don't go to me to 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 to, to, nini, to garage anymore. The Papa that you know has no any business that he can save. Uh, he can save, but now this business he made to party as twenty thousand. Now this twenty thousand to engage any five thousand to can unwe mix. I know. This mixer plus amplifier plus the things that we need in the media team. Because we've been using that camera and we need another camera here. There's nothing that, we can, uh, that, that, that we've never thought of improving ourselves. <sighs> My God help us. God help us. Praise him. Praise him. I want to speak to you people. You people know that we always do use microphones there. Praise God. Those micro microphones use battery. God help you. I don't want to continue. Because you are not doing the right thing. Are you really doing the right thing? Are all of you not employed? How much is battery? Do you know that me and Mr. Paul there, well, you are seated there. Sa zingine tunakosanga ata 50 pop, ata at a 100, you can use a microphone. That's why it's using the microphone. So it's in a sumbua. Then you people, while you come, you are standing here. You are ministering to us. I don't, uh, I don't dispute that. But you, has it ever done to you that those things use batteries, but we are, but are supposed to be bought? I pray that you, you listen to me in the spirit. Do not judge me by the words that I'm speaking in the physical. Listen to me in the spirit. For the Bible says in the book of, uh, is it in the book of uh, Ephesians or something? Let me confirm. First, let's do Galatians. Galatians 6, 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. 29. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we, if 
we faint not. Do not be deceived. If you plan that, if, you, if your plans are that God will bless you, will help you if you are not committed in God's kingdom, do not be deceived. God is never mocked. For the things that you plant, you will reap them. Bonus if you were. The things that you sow. Bonus if you were. If you sow nothing, don't, 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 don't expect to reap something. Bonus if you were. If you sow nothing, the things that you will reap are weeds. Bonus if you were. Leo tu kwa hii shamba mfuwa yanze kunyesha ben tu wamwe. Sasa tutapanda kitu kwa hii shamba. Ninini tutapata hapo? Ni weeds. Bonus if you were. Will those, will those weeds help us? No. Most of us here, we've been reaping weeds for far too long because we are not doing the things that God, does, uh, God called us to do. I know, those, I know that those seeds are too hot. <laughs> May you do the right thing in the presence of God. Praise God. May God bless, may God help us. May God help us. For far too long we've grown weary. For far too long we've fainted. The Bible is, say, is telling us not to grow weary. The Bible is telling us to faint not. We are all sons plus pastor. He is a son. In the kingdom of God, he is also a son. In this kingdom of God, so that he can be blessed. But we always do keep him busy with the things that we are supposed to do instead of him being in prayers. Most of the times, he worries. He worries about the things that have not been done, the things that we are supposed to be doing. In Nehemiah, we are more than 150 people. You see, in in Asadaka, I thank God for our, for our mothers. They introduced another one here. The one that was called for development. What happened to it? It died a natural death. Because no one was concerned with it. Yet you call yourself a son. Or you are still a son who is being circled and given milk. You've not reached a point of being given bones. First, first Corinthians three thirteen. First Corinthians 3 13 says, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. May your work be manifest, the works that you do for God. Praise God. You don't want even to say amen. I'm really angry. With you. Uh, you are seeing the anger in me now, but you, are, you don't want to even to say, I don't want to possess. <laughs> it's not hot on you only. It's also hot on me. Because after me coming, uh, after me stepping 
down the uh, uh, nini kutoka kwa hata kusimama tu hapo hivyo pia mimi am just like you i'm just speaking the things that the spirit of god has bestowed into my heart praise god may your work be manifest in the mighty name of jesus the things that you do to god may they manifest may god help you may god give you resources may god give you money so that you can stand with this work may god give you money and don't go and use those money so of course god always gives you money so that you can use them to help yourself but again as you help yourself with those things that god has given unto you remember the house of god bona sifiwe it is painful you know most of you you don't walk with our father eh it is painful sa zingine i'm always angered in the spirit when the pastor stands here na naongea mambo ya ofisi we all know that it's 4000 shillings it has accumulated to 20000 until the the owner of the house does not respect the anointing anymore what he is after is after his money because he's all right because for uh, the, the, the first time that we went to to ask for that room so that we could keep our things inside we made an agreement with him that we will be paying you at the end of the month or at a cert- uh, after uh, a certain day of the month we will be paying you but how has it been that <laughs> it has accumulated or we are still waiting for god so that we can complete this our house of ours and we build our own office <laughs> and we are using someone's house <laughs> then we should do uh, what most of us i think we should do is to come here and tarry in the prayers god talk to that person talk to that person so that as it fungie no give sisa what belongs to sisa if that house requires money to be paid then money we should give if that tap there requires money to be replaced then we should give money to replace it kama hizi vitu za church ndio hatuwezi fanya hizi ndogo ndogo hizi tap tulipiga hapa tuliambiwa quotation ni 1600 and 1060 to replace that tap because there is a way that we want to do it we've been procrastinating we've been ignorant and me, uh, me and dennis we can do that work but because we are we are we are in, in we are in your midst when as if we we don't see it as important thing we are wasting resources Eleven thirty. Ndako ni mimaliza past. Tafavali. Eleven thirty. Please. Eleven nine. Sai ni nineteen. Yeah. Sai ni nineteen. By thirty. Ndako ni mimaliza. Please. Bwana sifiwe. May God help us. And uh, please, on Sundays, jaribu ni mkujenge mapema, cause we tend to waste time because people come late. Kwanza youths, you are coming very late. Na hapa tuko na mafunzo mazuri sana kama leo taisame tufundisha vizuri sana. And lot, um, most of us here are youths. Bwana sifiwe. We don't tell you to come to come early so that you can come and arrange instrument and nini. We kuja mapema usikie neno so that we can work within time frame but we always do have on Mondays. And I thank I thank God for Paul for kuna post yenye alitoa yenye mebeba 
program yetu. Mbona sifiwe? So let's follow it strictly so that we don't waste time in in between. Mbona sifiwe? Mbona sifiwe tena? I was saying kama hizi vitu za church ndio kama hizi zenye tunaona hizi ya tuwezi fanya hizi Can we really do anything for pastor without you I know pastors uh, partners may God bless you so much for you've been doing a very good job may God bless you may your la- may your labor not be in vain praise God I know that I've been failing that department terribly I've been a terrible <laughs> person. May God help me. But if we cannot even do the things that we are seeing, can we really how many know that pastor Asaka? How many? I'm just led so that I can speak about that. I just want to put something across, eh? Wangapi wanajua pastor kuna gari? So this side you people you don't know. Pastor Asaka. Na it's been now I don't know how many days. I don't know how many weeks. I don't know how many months but Pastor gari yake iko kwa kwa garage. Bona sifiwe. Na one thing that pained me as I was uh, meditating upon him in your pastor was this day that uh, our brother Alfred alikuwa mgonjwa bona sifiwe tukapigiwa simu saa sita usiku oh pastor alfred alikuwa apelekwe pale pastor alitamani sana aende but gari ilikuwa na shida bona sifiwe then it took some after some days after alfred kupelekwa tena ikafika siku yenye anapelekwa nilikuwa na nilikuwa nimpeleke checking nilikuwa nimpeleke aende akaangaliwe hospital kenyata then from kenyata tukatumwa spinal spinal something uko side za nini side za apail tukaenda na ye makube same day kuna mtu alikuja eh, nini hizo siku eh, between those days hiyo siku yenye alfred alipele kwa usi usiku na hiyo siku yenye nampeleka alfred baada kwa nasikia vizuri so pastor alijaribu akatafuta mtu akamguzia hii gari ikafanya kidogo then that day yenye tulikuwa tunaenda pastor si kwa nyumba ka washa gari kukuja gari ka stop somewhere akaita huyo mtu akafanya huyo gari haraka haraka tena kufika siji hapa redeemed gari ka stop pasta alisikia vibaya sana because alikuwa anataka atupeleke na hiyo gari mpaka kwa hiyo si twende tushughulikie what point am i trying to bring home hii pasta hii gari ya pasta iko wangi tu ni gari ya pasta hii gari inakuanga ni gari ya kanisa because any time yenye mtu amelemewa kwa hii kanisa kuna siku yenye mimi ndapigiwa <laughs> Daddy nani amelemewa no the first person who will be called is pastor nani amelemewa what will pastor do hata sema nitumie di pesa <laughs> nitumie di pesa petroli sina pesa petroli kwani amjuiza hii uchumi no pastor ta nini tu kwa gari mbio hata kama iko ni sangapi why is it but sasa yetu kwa kwa shida we seek for pastor's attention na sasa yenye gari ya pastor imesimama no one cares no one cares i thank seven minutes i thank god for sometimes god spoke to some people and those people repaired that car bona sifiwe that time he was still building we are still building and that guy is not is not here and the people who are uh, uh, the people who are passing through hardship are the people who come here on uh, weekdays cuz weekdays it tulikuwa tunajua kwanza uh, me and paul tulikuwa tunajua sisi pastor kisha maliza si lazima tubebwe sisi and we don't even pay for fuel paul Now but what guys at the garage what have you done? Plus me what have I done? <laughs> you, when it comes to pastor helping us that guy is ours. When it comes to that car when it's broken down now ni mzigo ya pastor. Mungu atafungulia pastor njia tu pastor wetu ni mtu wa maombi Mungu atamfungulia njia. 
And me most of the time by the huwa na kana pastor. Akiongea mambo ya gari yake. Nasikia tu God. We ask and we receive not because we ask amiss. Because we ask, we ask so that we can fulfill our wishes. May God help us. May God help us. <laughs> May God help us. Bona sifikwe. May God help us. May God help us. I don't know what to say again. So if God has spoken to you, we have a nini ya 10,000 nini 20,000 pale kwa ya ofisi. Bona sifikwe. The other day pastor stood here and said, "Tunataka nga tulipe huo mtu each and every Sunday to mlipe hata at least something. So but during the week what when you kuja nga hapa wasikose viti za kukalia on Sunday to sipitie nini. <laughs> By the way, I didn't say something. It's imeni nimekumbuka tu. You people do you know the shame that pastor go through? The shame. Pastor wetu ana pitia shame, shame and we are here. Pastor tunatoka na hivi hey, instead of going that way we go this way. So that we don't meet with the landlord. Is it true? You people know that pastor afanyi kazi. Pastor is always here praying for you people. Like Moses is raising his hand so that you can be so that you can succeed in your endeavors in your works. And you don't stand with him. You hata kama unaspama na yeye there are things that you are supposed to do as a son and you are not doing. The little that you give him so that he can support his life with those are the, the, the same little that he is <laughs> using in sorting out things that you are supposed to sort as sons in the house of God. Now I was saying I have a, a thousand shillings here. If God speaks to you, today we want to pay for one Sunday. Hata kama Mungu atatusaidia tulipe two two months at least to punguze hiyo pesa. Praise God. I've left it here. If God speaks to you, do do it. If you continue in procrastination, if you continue in what you are doing, if you continue in your, if you want to continue the way you are continuing, may God help you, eh? Mpesa. Mpesa should we send to pastor's number? Pastor Zero, number ya pastor ni 0722495787 Najua Mungu anakuangalesha na shetani pia ame <laughs> God my God help us Mbona sifiwe My God help us My God help us as I welcome praise him As I welcome praise him The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalms, Psalms 90. As we, wa- we want to enter into prayer so that God can help us. Bona sifiwe. We want us to enter into prayers so that God can help us. 0722-49-5787. Am I right? Bible says praise God as we want to enter into intense prayer intense we want to pray we want to pray because we've been having fasting for the three days now we want to enter into prayers and i pray that God may minister through this great man of God praise God the bible says in uh, Psalms 90 verse 10 it says the days of our years are three score years and 10 that is 70 years if by reason of strength they be for score years that is 80 years yet is their strength labor and sorrow you live for 80 years 70 years but your strengths are labor and sorrow 
for it is soon cut off and we fly away. May that not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so thy wrath. So teach us, my dwelling verse is 12, Psalms 90, 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Praise God. As we are going to pray, let's ask God to teach us how to number our days. So that we may give our hearts to wisdom. Praise God. Let God teach, teach us to number our days as days that we worked for him until we were no more. As days that we stood with the man of God until the man of God said, but asasa imetosha. Bwana sifiwe. God should teach us to number our days until that day that we will stand and say, but oh, see this far. God has helped us. Oh God, teach us to number our days. As I'm speaking on a woman's mama, you should be now going deep into prayers. Go deep, deep into prayers. Ask God to teach you to number your days. For you've been numbering them wrongly. For you've been doing things that are not good before God. May God teach you to number your days. May God teach you to number your days. So that you may give your hearts to wisdom. So that you give your hearts to wisdom. May God teach you to number your days. May God teach you to number your days. We've been living wrongly and that we've been counted as people who are wasting time. We've been counted as people who don't amount to anything in the kingdom of God. But today, God, may you teach us again. May you teach us again. Teach us again, Jesus. Teach us again, Jehovah. Teach us again, Jehovah. Teach us to number our days. For we've been doing it wrongly. Father, may you teach us Jehovah Nisi. Teach us again, Shadala Bose Ketele Piazeke Yadala Baba Boria. Mayadala Baba Baba Bose Ketele Piazela. Chadeba Deba 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 Deba. Le Paya Mayado Le Piazeke Tele Piazeke Tea. Chadala Baba 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 Baba
moja tu apinge shangwe na vigelegele mbele zake. Yeye hata MC hezi kubali. Napinga shangwe na vigelegele mbele zake. Oh! Napinga shangwe na vigelegele kwa Yesu.
mbinguni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Mchana wa leo tunatangaza kwamba wewe ni Mungu na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Asante kwa uwepo wako juu ya maisha yetu, asante kwa neema nyingi. Asante kwa mafuta, mafuta, mafuta ya upako wa Jehova ambayo tayari umeshaachilia kwa hii nyumba. Miujiza anaenda kutendeka kwa njia kubwa. Jehova ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu mbingu ikafunguke sasa. Mara ingine tena uwepo wako ukajaza hii nyumba tena kwa jina la Yesu. Malaika wa Jehova mka, mkashike doria. Simba wa kabila ya Yuda ingia kwa kazi. Mfalme wa falme, uwepo wa Mungu, uwepo wa Mungu, uwepo wa Jehova, uwepo wa Jehova, roho wa Mungu kwa jina la Yesu. Ninatangaza nguvu za Mungu zikafanye kazi udhibitisho wa nguvu za Mungu. Paulo anasema na injili hii atiyahubiri kwa maneno tu mbali kwa nguvu za Mungu na udhibitisho nyingi ndani yake. Hiyo ndio udhibitisho ambayo tunatangaza kwa hii madhabahu mchana wa leo kwamba udhibitisho wa nguvu za Mungu Mungu Jehovah Yesu Kristo tumeomba mtu mmoja aseme amen mtu mmoja aseme amen mtu mmoja aseme amen mtu mmoja aseme amen ukiwa umesimama tu hivyo fungua na mimi katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume chapter number 1 verse number 8 chapter number 1 verse number 8 pasta kunaendaje ni hivyo kunaenda leo Mungu ako na mipango yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Atuwezi tukaenenda na mipangilio ya dini yetu kanisa letu si huenda hivi hapana wakati mwingine roho wa Mungu anaingia na anapeleka ibada kwa sistemi yake ye mwenyewe vile anataka iende Tunashukuru Mungu. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume